Let's talk about this Pixel Fold or this rumored Pixel Fold. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so this is coming from a render thanks to Front Page Tech. Mm -hmm. They've corroborated a bunch. Typically what happens with these renders is somebody gets a leak and you can't just publish exactly what you got. Otherwise, you're sort of outing the person who gave you the information. So mm -hmm. you take that information, you give it to a talented graphic designer. They mock up something that looks like what was told to you. You publish that. It's a leak that looks like the real thing. That's what we got. Sort of a pseudo design of a foldable pixel phone yeah and i want to preface this by saying like these are obviously still rumors and we don't always talk about rumors but let's be real this is google and i wouldn't be, be surprised real. if this shoot showed up at someone's house when they that's were the pixel thing. 7 randomly that's so. the thing the, the google train is like when things leak they just it they pour yeah like they they niagara falls like fully oh is your flashlight on i think your flashlight is on I was about to, yeah, your flashlight's on. Bro, what chill. happened to your Pixel over there? I was just going to say, I'm, I've been using the Pixel 7 Pro as my daily phone since it came out, actually. No significant phones have come out since the Pixel 7 Pro to make me want to switch. I had been using the S21 Ultra for like a year and a half or something yeah. like that. I thought I was going to go back to it. Pixel 7 Pro has been rock solid, and I'm very happy so far. That is awesome. Would you use a foldable pixel. Do you even want a foldable pixel? Because here's the uh, thing. I'm just okay. to, just to paint the picture a little bit. Google phones, not known for their hardware quality, right? Foldable phones, really hard to do great hardware. So to buy a foldable pixel over the other foldables, you'd be buying it to get the awesome camera and the Google software experience and the computational smarts, not the great hardware. Would that would that I, be a good phone? The thing is, is I think I might even disagree a little bit on that because I do think, I think the Pixel 6 started having pretty solid hardware and then they kind of cleaned up that hardware in the Pixel 7. And I think it feels like a really solid, like it solidly is. built phone. Fair. Um, that actually is one of the things in this rumor is they said it's heavy and really like built solidly. But I do think one of the other things in this rumor again, like, judging by the looks of it and we've heard this months ago that people said the form factor is going to be closer to like an oppo find n which is different than all the other folding phones we're having right. so that might even be one of if you prefer that shorter and wider in stature a little more type compact, of foldable that closer. might be why you come to this yeah like a passport type size yeah yeah i think that'd be cool uh, look, I like the Google software experience. So I'm, if they can put together a good enough hardware experience, yeah. I, I think that'd be nice. I'm looking at this rumor right now. It looks like it's got all, it's got three cameras on it. So yep. it might have the same set of cameras as the pro phone, which would be great. Yeah. Real quick on that before we move on. Mm -hmm. So since they can't do the camera bump into the edges yeah. because it's folding now and one of the edges has to be a hinge, they kind of did this rounded edge protruded camera bump looks about as thick, maybe even a little thicker than what the camera bump on the 7 is. It's a um, dynamic island. I I like it. I feel like, um, do you know Xiaomi started doing these like really thick camera bumps? Squares. But not, like, yeah, squares. Yeah. yeah, this yeah. looks like that, but as a like rectangle, almost an oval with the rounded edges. I dig it. It's also in a gray in this render. I don't know if that's yeah. going to match, but it looks just like the dynamic island on the phone. Just like, oh, yeah, up. yeah. Because it's the got the like bubble cutouts. popped off from mm -hmm. the bigger cutout. Uh, cut out camera on the front screen and then a large, somewhat slim bezels on the inside screen. I would argue probably thickest bezels out of all the foldables, unless you're counting the Surface Duo, which we all know is. Yeah, um, right, which is not even a folding screen. Yeah, it does. It does also seem like on the inside that the bezels on the top are larger because that's where the camera and sensors are. That would make sense. Um, so that's the Google way, though. Not don't go too crazy with the hardware. Just give us like standard fine hardware and then just top off, uh, you know, the, I like, the I think it looks up good. there. It makes the screen look more cohesive. Yeah. So then it's like, would you would you want a foldable pixel over a regular pixel? Because then you have to worry uh -huh. about the software experience and like how you split up and multitask and do you use the outside screen for some things, inside for others. I really like a lot of the foldable like experiences. Like mm -hmm. I like using the Galaxy Folds a lot. Um, the one interesting part of the form factor is with the Galaxy Fold, you can get used to it after a while, but the outside screen is very narrow, and so you don't feel like you're yeah. getting the the full smartphone experience on the outside. I mean, you can type, but the keyboard's kind of small. Yeah. Uh, the Oppo Find N felt like a normal usable smartphone. It was just a thick smartphone because yeah. it was folded. So I don't think this one's going to be particularly thin. 
that's fine. They're not going to do anything stunning like Xiaomi or Huawei or anything like that. It's just going to be a normal, standard, folding phone. Don't think too hard about it, but... But you do get twice as much phone. Like what you said, though, in terms of the exterior screen, I think I would prefer that than the like really long candy bar shape of the like more smushed down regular phone. So like, same. While I don't love smolding, while I don't, while I don't love folding phones right now, and that's just a preference thing. Like, I don't know, maybe the smaller size. I think both of us agreed that when the Find N came out, we held it and we we're like, oh, I really dig this nice. shape, like yeah. this. Uh, design layout feels a little more comfortable and yes it is thick i would not doubt if the like the actual size of this thing is exactly the same as the the oppo it's find be very similar i yeah. bet it'll be super similar. the biggest downside is just gonna be the thickness exactly basically yeah i could see it i'm interested i'm definitely interested i i don't think this is going to be coming anytime soon i think maybe next year is the earliest they we can see this the front page text says may Okay. That's not that far away. That is not that far away. That's half a year. That would be really interesting. That's right before IO, which is usually summer. Before IO, you know what? I, I'm Why excited they, for it. Usually, I mean, May is weird because I would expect like IO to be like, all right, here's all our new interesting folding phone software. And then you get the phone or you get the phone at the same time. I think that, but I think people also think this might come out around the same time as the tablet, which would make sense to be before IO because they already announced the tablet at IO. So maybe this just becomes some sort of an event, which also more earlier tech events I'm totally down for. Sometimes I'm tired of waiting for just three months of absolute cramming every single thing in and us going crazy. Yeah. Um, So like, let's get some more stuff in the middle of the year. I am excited for it. I would be willing to try it. Here's why I wouldn't buy it because the approximate price rumor is eighteen hundred dollars. Ah, classic, Fun. classic I mean, folding phone. Folding phones are expensive. Yeah, totally understand that. First gen, eighteen hundred bucks. They mm. everyone else has done it, so like I don't blame them, and I get why they're doing it. But mm. that's a whoo, that's a doozy. It is interesting that we're seeing more and more folding phones. The one other thing that I was going to mention is the fingerprint reader yes. sensor is rumored to be in the power button, which would match some of the other folding phones we've seen, like the Samsung Galaxy Fold, for yeah. example. Uh, so not like under the display or behind the phone or anything like that. But yeah, we've seen a bunch more folding phones uh, of various form factors and various interesting things about them, whether it's the thinness or the cameras or the the screen ratios or whatever they are. So I'm interested. I think 800 bucks would be right in line with all the other stuff we've seen. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Which I still think is a hard selling point. Yeah. Really quick back on the fingerprint sensor thing. I, I like made a note in here because the f- power button fingerprint sensor makes the most sense, right? Because then you can unlock it from folded or unfolded. Right. Whereas like an in-display fingerprint sensor on the front is tough because then you would also have to have it on the inside. We have not had any phones with that yet, right? An no. interior one. Nope. The problem is, is the renders of this, the power button looks like extruded quite a bit like a regular power button and every fingerprint sensor power button we've ever seen is generally indented yeah so um some of these renders now that could be a few things it could be the renders are just a little off bad render or something it could be i mean i kind of wonder we had got face unlock on pixel 6 and 7 face unlock would also make sense through the selfie camera on the front and the inside Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think people trust face unlock on some of these. I've been enjoying face unlock on mine. I wanted yeah. it for face unlock. I've been enjoying it. I don't know. But for some reason, this power button in the render doesn't scream fingerprint sensor to me. It just doesn't look like the right type of button for it. Interesting. We shall see. We'll I mean, see. I think Google is willing to try weird stuff, clearly. Also, I could be wrong, but the folding Samsung phones, the um, camera on the inside, is it worse than the one on the outside? Yeah, the you're talking about the under display selfie camera. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's awful. Just <laughs> awful. Um, but it's there in case you want to take a selfie. Now, with this one there are some bezels and we don't know what I don't know what's in those bezels. In the, in the the rumor report, it's the cameras in the bezel. Cameras up in, in the, the bezel. top right. Yeah. That that seems okay, to so make sense. It, they could potentially have the same camera on the outside and inside like one yeah. good enough for face on I selfie. want yeah. to say if I remember from front page text uh article that the only spec they have is 9.5 megapixel camera on the front end on the inside for selfie okay 
So um, maybe matching. That the, feels obviously like a much harder thing to confirm. Like designs usually come out first, total specs. And if they don't list any other specs, I I wonder about it. But like it seems in line with, doesn't yeah. seem unreasonable. Would you rather have thin bezels with a crappy front-facing camera under screen? Or would you rather have these slightly bigger bezels with a camera that's much more usable? At this point in technology, I would rather have the thicker bezels. Okay. I think in I a couple years, you. my answer would change. Yes. You're both wrong. <laughs> no, I, no, I agree. I don't <laughs> want to like... Have, have you... You've seen the just terrible quality of those cameras? Yeah, but I wouldn't use the selfie camera then. That's true. I, I never use uh, it. I never really use it. I do think that's... I use it because it's so bad. But if you really need to take a picture, just turn the phone around. That's like, it's annoying, it yeah. but... Yeah, well, I mean, there is like, if you Zoom or FaceTime or something... Well, not FaceTime, obviously, but if you Zoom or, or video chat on mm -hmm. some other program, like, yeah. in there... Yeah, maybe the quality doesn't need to be great, but yeah, like I think matter. I'm gonna rather. Even I don't with think like you're... a 1080p webcam, the internet still makes me look terrible over Zoom calls. Yeah, well, this <laughs> makes you look terrible and makes it look like you're underwater. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't rubbed know. Rubbed Vaseline on your screen. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, no, I guess I'm the pixel peeper, so I'd be a little biased, but maybe I'm outside of the norm there. I, I think I'm with the you. better quality. I don't think you get enough screen real estate, especially now that it's a folding phone and you have so much screen real estate. I don't think you're losing or gaining enough of it to sacrifice. Yeah. Quality. And you're only getting vertical pixels, which is just more blank pixels. Exactly. If you're watching yeah, videos exactly. or doing anything. So I'm fine with this. Yeah. So we both agree Adam's wrong. Yeah. I think cool. we're on the same page. Perfect. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, no, I, I like it. I'm looking forward to it. Let's say it is May. Uh, I will be keeping my eye out for all of the subsequent leaks that are definitely going to happen. Yeah. Because that's what happens with Google. Do phones. you think I, Samsung's happy about this or upset about this? I think Samsung is in this funny position where whoever else makes a foldable, they can just claim that it's because Samsung started it. And as long as none of them outsell Samsung's foldables, they'll feel pretty good about it. Like, so there's obviously. no threat with the Pixel is what you're saying? <laughs> Minimal threat I mean, because pixels don't sell nearly as much I, as Samsung. Phones. They're they're playing Google's playing catch up. Samsung's ahead of, ahead already. Like they don't have to worry for a little bit. I mean, yeah. it's also how know. much is the fold for? This still costs less than eighteen hundred bucks now. No, it's about the same. Okay. It's about the same. So it's gonna be like, which one would you rather buy? The Samsung one that's in the yeah. carrier store already, or the Pixel that's brand new, eighteen hundred bucks, and you've never seen before. Probably still gonna buy the Samsung one. We'll see. If um if you test it out and then decide not to use it, I will volunteer as tribute to try and live a full totally life fair. with it. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. If you would like to hit subscribe, I suggest folding your mouse pad in half and then I don't know where I was going. Mac didn't like that joke. No, not at all. No. I should start a different one. Mac says subscribe. You subscribe. We love Waveform. Rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts. I think that should be the entire clips outro. You're good at this, Mac. I think yeah. Mac's going to take my spot. Yeah. New co-host. Best co-host. We'll get like a super tall doggy chair and a mic just like right you can just, here. You can just have two buttons that says he agrees or disagrees with everything he said. Yeah, it's perfect. Probably better than what I say. <laughs> good job, Mac.